Yo, how's it going everyone? My name is Lionhearts, and welcome back to the channel. With the release of CS2, I'm feeling really inspired to actually climb through the ranks and get better at the game. So I want to document that journey here. All of the highlights, the inevitable lowlights, the copious fails, as well as any funny moments along the way as we trudge through the nine circles of hell that is playing matchmaking CSGO. So if that interests you at all, make sure you guys take a second, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more, and make sure you follow me on Twitch as well as TikTok to keep up to date with all the content I'll be producing around CS2. And without further ado, let's get right into the highlights. Let's go. Let's go. Just get back to my tracker. He's a pretty good out here. Oh, bro, I don't understand. He's not peeking on my screen, and I'm dead. Nice job, Jack. Go to A, 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 go to A. So I told you, pretty good out of the sewer. Top mid. Going under, going under. The dualies, dude. Get the... Damn it! I whiffed the ace. Go horse, he's on the car. I got, you. I got your window. I got your window. Flashing. Flashback. Nice More guns. Cat! They know they know the strat. Justin? Justin? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know. You and that guy were just in a fucking <laughs> awful competition. <laughs> nice, Jack. <laughs> Oh, he's opping CT. Off he's CT. Off cat. And pause. Okay, so listen. Most of this video is meant to be like funny moments and highlights, but also the goal of this series and why I'm streaming to begin with is I want to get better at Counter Strike. So if I can along the way show you guys some teachable moments or things that I've learned, try and pass on some knowledge from me to you, I'm going to do so as I think it's valuable to everyone to continue to learn and get better at the game. So here we are, we're in a 1v1 situation, it's me against an opper, and just for some context, this team we're playing is very, very good. They've been destroying us this entire game. I think one of them on their team profile said they were recently global. They're in a five stack, so they're much more coordinated and set up than we are. That is just me and my buddies just playing late at night. So how do you navigate a 1v1 against someone with an op who's been dominating you the entire game? Well, at least on Dust2, you have quite a few options. Well, the first thing you could consider is your utility. Obviously, on this freeze frame, as you can see, I have a smoke in hand. And if we go ahead and unpause, I'm going to go ahead and smoke the double doors. Now, when you smoke double doors, you see that it indicates to the CTs that you're trying to cross back towards the tunnel side. So I'm kind of baiting him to go towards that way and not check back sight. Now, I get kind of lucky here. This guy's getting a little greedy, maybe a little overconfident because of how the game is going. He doesn't completely check back sight. He just assumes because of that smoke that maybe I'm playing for tunnels. This allows me to sneak out from under window and get the spray down while he's using. It's easy to miss these opportunities sometimes, but there are basic tendencies that you can abuse in other people's minds. Like if people flash a corner, they're usually gonna peek it. So what happens if you don't? Or if people throw a smoke in a doorway or to like cross to an open gap, they're usually gonna try and cross that gap. So if you can use that intel to your advantage, you can create openings that weren't necessarily there in the first place. Hey Ram, hey Ram, hey Ram. You said you always did it. What? I thought you were gonna smoke again. <laughs> yeah, you two got kind of slash line hurts. I need to update my uh, new video button. One more outside. I think they're all outside, Justin. The last one was three. Yeah, yeah, all outside. Nice shot, bro. Last guy should be at her. Yep. Could have dropped Yeah, look at that. There's an AK by Red. AK by Red. Thank you. Purple, you're going insane right now. 
The deagle is just what so fun. Just going absolutely sicko mode. He said you're a monster. Monster. How should I feel? Creatures oh god. Lying. Of all the, the monster songs you chose. Listen, so that song bops, okay? You let him go, dude. <laughs> I missed up. Especially like the Nightcore version. Yeah, dude, I, I missed up. I was about to say, I can definitely feel my hair going black right now. Fucking shotgun gun. On top of mini with a shoddy. I'm gonna let the green die here. 100%. God, everyone's just fucking digging out of control right now. They could go vents here. You're he checked it! What a god! Why are you playing for the frag? Play for the bomb. Because I'm greedy. Paid for it. He dropped. Well, I don't know Jess has got my back. I didn't want to say it beforehand, just in case. Yeah, yeah. But I knew Jess had my back. The fuck out of me. <laughs> Especially this game where I've been playing like shit. Hot palace. Smoking palace. Bomb down top mid. I want to be home for some reason. Alright, hold on. Back it up a little bit. Uh, if you're newer to the game, maybe you're newer to playing Mirage. This is one of the nastiest off angles CTs can take. It's important to have mid control, but you stand on this boxing connector, you can see in the palace, you're very hard to hit, and as a bonus, you can see the top of people's heads if they are standing behind firebox after they plant. That team killed each other. One's in sight, last guy. There was an M4 down. He is cat or uh, arch, sorry. No, no I just cat. wait for the bomb. You could walk and grab him and get it. Okay, <laughs> yeah, he grabbed but oh I'm throwing there somewhere. Right there, yep. Yeah. How much damage right did that shot do? Uh that did eighty two and one. Jesus. <laughs>